myself famous sesodia today i am going to take a topic chemical kinetics chemical kinetics is a branch of physical chemistry which deals with the study of rate of reaction and the mechanism of the reaction which occurs so firstly in this topic today we are going to discuss about the rate of reaction factors affecting the rate of reaction factors affecting the rate of reaction so first we take a rate of reaction in this rate of reaction it may be defined as the rate it may be defined as the rate of change of concentration of either reactant or product with respect to time is called rate of reaction so we can write it just like that change in concentration of reactants or products with respect to time so with this formula we can also find out the unit of the rate of reaction and as we know that the concentration terms is measured in mole per liter and time is either measured in second minute or hour so the unit of rate of reaction becomes mole per liter per second it reactions this reaction also shows that the rate of a reaction is directly proportional to the change in concentration it means that as the concentration of the reactant is more it means the rate of reaction is also more and we come to the conclusion that whenever a reaction takes place suppose we take a general example of a reaction a plus b gives p here a plus b is a reactants and p is product and as we previous discussed that rate of reaction means changing concentration of reactant as well as product and it directly depends upon the time so as the uh, react rate of reaction as the time increases the concentration of the reactant decreases so we can just write rate of reaction according to the mathematical concept in a this manner in this manner minus delta a by delta t minus delta b by delta t and as well as plus delta p by delta t here as we written as i write a note here that delta sign this delta sign shows the total change total change with respect to time and this square bracket shows the change in concentration or simply we can say that a concentration and according to the mathematical concept of the rate of reaction these all terms are equal to each other and the very most important point here is that here the minus sign as well as plus sign is also shown there but i am going to tell you that the rate of reaction is never be negative here the negative sign shows that the decrease in concentration of reactant and positive sign shows that the increase in concentration of product suppose we take an example whenever we want to burn a piece of paper at the starting point and at whenever when this reaction is ne never starts ya hum simply ye keh sakte hain ki jab bhi reaction shuru nahi hui thi at that time a piece of paper is there and a majestic is also there so piece of paper and the majestic or we can say the uh, uh, we can take it here i uh, in place of majestic a burner and like that burner so burner and a piece of paper here the piece of paper act as a reactant and whenever we uh, just put it that piece of a paper on the burner it will be burned out it will be completely vanished so the product is ash so in this in this example 
we shows that the decrease in concentration of reactant takes place as well as increase in concentration of product increases suppose we take another example suppose h2 plus o2 gives h2 in this reaction h2 and o2 these two are the reactants and h2 is the product whenever the concentration of hydrogen and oxygen gases decreases at that time only the formation of water takes place means whenever time equals to zero the concentration of reactant is there and as the time passes the concentration of reactant decreases and when the time equals to zero at that time the concentration of product is also zero this can be explained on the basis of a simple graph a graph is plotted between the concentration versus time here the time is taken into the x axis x axis x is independent variable means all the reactions is directly or indirectly depends upon the time what will happen with that all this type of reactions kya hoga unke sath as the time increases the concentration of reactant increases or decreases so <coughs> we just plot a curve at the time equals to zero the concentration of the reactant is maximum so suppose concentration of the reactant is here we can just symbolize by r not r not shows the concentration of reactant at t equals to 0 and as the time passes the concentration of reactant decreases and just like that never be zero kisi bhi samay pe usko hum zero nahi karenge so it means it becomes constant at a um, after a completion of the reaction and similarly the concentration of product when t equals to zero the concentration of product is also zero and as the time passes the concentration of product increases increases and then becomes a constant so this curve shows that the change in concentration of reactant and this curve shows the change in concentration of product with respect to time now we come to the point next point which factors affect the rate of a reaction and as we discussed that the rate of a reaction is depend upon the concentration so the first point as the concentration is more concentration increases so rate of reaction also increases second point temperature as the temperature increases rate of reaction also increases but the condition is there uh, here one condition is there whenever most of the reactions at 10 degree rise of temperature either in a kelvin or degree centigrade most of the reactions the rate of the most of the reactions becomes two times three times more so that condition is called temperature coefficient it will be discussed in the later part third surface area as the surface area increases the rate of a reaction also increases we take an example of a sugar or a sugar powder and as we know that the sugar powder is easily dissolved as compared to sugar crystal so we can simply uh, easily clarify that surface area increases the rate of reaction is also increases fourth one presence of light most of the reactions that is called photochemical reactions takes place only in the presence of light so presence of light increases the rate of reaction so and fifth one is presence of catalyst in the positive manner catalyst increases the rate of reaction it will be discussed later ki how the catalyst plays a, a role to increase the concentration of to increase the rate of a reaction how this will happen so it will be discussed later next sixth one is pressure as the pressure increases 
rate of reaction also increases. We take an example to explain this. Suppose hydrogen gas is react with nitrogen gas and it will form ammonia gas. So how this ammonia gas form? Ammonia gas is formed when hydrogen and nitrogen, these both are gases. When these both gases are compressed to each other, they are they come to each other, they close to each other, it will react either by breaking the bond and for making the new bonds. So the formation of ammonia takes place. So we can say that pressure increases, rate of reaction also increases. So Today we discussed about the rate of reaction and the factors affecting the rate of reactions. So the next part of this chapter will be continued in the next lesson.